Chaos, laughter, destruction and loot. Bang on Balls Chronicles is a chaotic fun game where you play as a bouncing ball of destruction. Bang On Balls is a game full of silliness and fun. It is a 3D open world platformer that gave me large Spyro the Dragon feels about it. I wasn't sure what to expect when I played this game. It definitely isn't like something I would normally play. But one of my good friends, and a shout out here to Hyperstrike. If you haven't checked him out before, I'm going to pop his links down below for you. He showed me the game and suggested I give it a go after a quick discussion with him about how I don't normally play battle style multiplayer games. He assured me that I could play it in single player and multiplayer, so I gave it a go. During the game you play as, well, a ball. A squishy, bouncy ball of chaos. You run around destroying everything in sight to get smaller blue balls and other collectibles. The game reminds me a lot of Spyro the Dragon games in which it has a main world you are in and lots of different worlds through different portals. As this was just a preview of what was coming out when I played this game, I was only access to a limited amount of worlds, but it was a lot of fun. There isn't much in the way of story, you just run around bashing into stuff which can be rather therapeutic and satisfying after a hard day at work. The beginning of the game takes you through different controls, so it's not like you're thrown in the deep end and not know how to do anything. There is a very in-depth tutorial that helps you understand and take you through each step of the controls and movement required to play the game. This is really handy as it takes a bit of practice to get the timed larger attacks to work to get the larger alpha enemies. The game is easy to master though and each part of the walkthrough has a picture of what buttons you should be pressing on the controller which helps with any confusion with different controller users. The pirate level which I was able to play had lots of different things to do throughout it to be able to make your way through the level from beating different bosses, solving puzzles and destroying pirate ships. Most of the things that you need to do will be coupled with destroying something or other within the level. Each save point or checkpoint is marked with a Polaroid camera at it and it saves as it takes a picture of your little bang up ball so that you can start from the position when you die. There are many different costumes that you get to choose from and that you can purchase after collecting so many of the small balls that you get as drops when you complete an objective or kill one of the enemies. As well as getting new equipment to help you on your adventure, you can also buy cosmetics from friendly balls that you rescue from cages or loot from bosses that you beat. It's fun to unlock all these options and customise your ball, even if it doesn't have any impact on the gameplay. At one stage, I even had a small little ball, similar to my ball, following me around, which was super cute. The developers are very invested into sharing different codes for you to get different items from the gumball machines in-game, also allowing you to adapt your little ball to whatever time of the year you want or whatever world you're going to be playing in. Overall, it is a game with a whole lot of potential, entering a world where 3D open world platformers are few and far between. However, I spent a lot of my childhood speeding around Spyro the Dragon, so there is a lot of familiarity and nostalgic enjoyment I had with this game, even if it didn't have much of a story. The different costumes are a good addition and I like that you can get some without having to pay actual money for a change. In the game you play as a bouncing ball of chaos destroying everything in sight and collecting anything that is left over from the destruction. The game is extremely well polished for the version that I played. There is a lot of detail that goes into each level keeping with the theme that it is on, which I found really impressive.
The music, although cute and fun and centred around the world you are in, gets a little lost behind all the different sounds you hear around you. This can be from collectibles to crying in PC balls that you have to save or enemies around you. You can play with a mouse or a controller. I chose to play with a controller as it was a bit easier to move around about. The controllers are rather button mashy but are clearly explained to you in the tutorial section. If you like silly fun, this game will keep you laughing for hours. It is a lot of fun to go around bashing different things and destroying all the walls around you. Whilst there was a lot of swearing from me throughout each battle, there was also a lot of satisfaction when an enemy went flying across the map to die. There are many different collectibles in the game that you can collect by completing different challenges within each game. There is, at this stage, no Steam achievements to get, but there are many, many different outfits that you can collect, as well as many secrets to uncover. I give it 4 out of 5 howls.